Hi, I'm Daryl Cagle, and today I'm going to be drawing uh, the Republican elephant with Ted Cruz and Donald Trump. The elephant is pooping on Donald Trump, and frankly, I think it's the responsibility of uh, every editorial cartoonist to draw poop cartoons as often as the opportunity arises. Um, even though editors hate poop cartoons, and uh, uh, they don't get reprinted that much just because they have poop so, um, but you know, it's a conflict between editors and my responsibility as poop drawing editorial cartoonist that I, I must go forward. So today's cartoon is um, elephant poop. So I did a little bit of prep before I quite got started with this one. And uh, this is what we've got. We've got, let's move this out just a little bit. We've got crew. Maybe I still have more prep to do. We've got uh, Cruz and Trump and uh, the Republican logo. I have flopped the logo. Just a second here as I adjust. I guess that's the best I'll get. Uh, fix that again. Sorry about this. It's a heck of a lot of futzing around with these things every time I have to, I have to get set up. I'm not real good at keeping things ready to go. Uh, eh, it's about as good as I'm going to get. So, hello Okomi, nice to see you here. So, the idea behind this one is, you know, uh, the arcane rules of the GOP are coming back to uh, haunt uh, Donald Trump as Ted Cruz is doing a better job uh, getting the delegates through these uh, arcane delegate rules. So, um, oh, Notopoli, you're hosting me. How nice, with one viewer. I appreciate that. Um, so this is, thank you so much, Notopoli. Uh, this is the Republican logo and, um, he faces to the right, of course. And I printed this out and flopped it to the left here because you want a cartoon to read from left to right. And, um, so Donald Trump getting the poop on his head is the gag, and that has to be at the end on the right. So that logo had to flop. And um, so before I got started today, I, did a, I print, did a quick printout and a couple of quick sketches on Trace and stuck them on here. And um, just f as a matter of process, I just did them real quick on pieces of bond paper and, and then traced them on the trace and then tore them out and stuck them on here with a piece of scotch tape so um, just easier for me to do that before I get started what can I say I know you guys like to see every little bit of what I do but hey sometimes it's easier to just knock something out at my convenience in advance before I spend all the time futzing with all these camera settings and sound settings and pointing the cameras the right way readjusting for the light for the time of day too much uh too much crap required in the streaming um now where'd i put my tape anyway nice to see you here okomi and notapoli and thank you so much for the the hosting notapoli that's very kind of you So I'm going to go straight to uh, doing the line art in this one. And I think, yes, yeah, streaming is hard work. It seems like it should be easier. It seems like wh what I should be doing is doing this in a basement somewhere that's dark. And uh, so I don't have changing light through the day that screws with my chroma key and everything. and and makes everything wrong just because every minute it's a different kind of light. 
Oh, Comey writes, so did Trump get the primary stolen from him? He lost every delegate in Wyoming and uh, Colorado um, to Cruz's superior organization. So um, he's been out on the road today bitching and moaning about how the rules are unfair and he's not going to take it. Um, so that's what this cartoon's about. So the rules are unfair, the rules are kind of stinky poop on top of your head, and uh, Cruz is riding high. That's what this cartoon says. You know, this, people are always asking me, what's the meaning of this? What, what, what are your special messages in here? And frankly, you know, most cartoons do not have a lot of sophisticated messaging. Um, He's got poop on his head, huh? All right. Now I need to, uh, you know, I still haven't developed a good, um, a good shorthand for Cruz and Trump. I drew these on the page with, um, I, I drew them without looking at scrap. So these are the in my head versions of Cruz and Trump, and maybe those are better. So what I'm doing here is here I'm bringing up uh, the Crump and Trues pages. You can see here on the monitor in front of me, I'm looking at Trump because I've got to start with Trump since he's over here on the right and I draw from right to left so I'm not dragging my hand through uh, through stuff all the time so let's go back to here and I think I'm gonna start with his eyebrows they're kind of an anchor point for his face Trump's eyes are funny. I enjoy his eyes. I've noticed that most cartoonists don't take much advantage of, of the joy of Trump eyes. But they should. face is looking better than my sketch. Huh? What's the idea? When you go to finish, you're supposed to make it look better. Hello, cartoon man. Nice to see you here. You know, I don't have a very big audience on Twitch, but I do appreciate that you guys are uh, regulars and I, I, uh, I get to know you over time and that's, uh, that's lovely. back down to these pencils that don't have erasers. I'm going to start throwing away pencils when the eraser's gone, even though they're big, long, still good pencils. Did you notice that Donald Trump got a haircut? And, uh, it is just absolutely the haircut that I would have gotten for him as if I was his political advisor. I would have put that at the top of the list. And what they did was they uh, they cleaned up the silliness in his hair um, uh, while retaining the general look and shape of his hair. Uh, so they got rid of the 
the hard um, uh, hair goop that he was putting in to make these wings over his ears and they got rid of that little V on the back of his head and they softened up the silliness of all the long strands that are combed over the top of his head because I don't think it's actually a baldness comb over. I think it's just uh, it's just a crazy comb over that he was doing himself and nobody was nobody was advising him on his hair. So anyway, that crazy long strandiness about the top of his head is gone now and those crazy little wisps that went over his ears that were uh, uh, cemented with hair goop are gone and um, and yet the look and feel of it is much the same without the craziness so uh, good uh, good hair advice I remember when uh, John Edwards got his well, I think it was a $400 haircut or a $300 haircut at the air on the airplane and people thought that was ridiculous Boy, Donald Trump got a million dollar haircut well worth a million dollars cartoon man writes I look forward to getting alerts from twitch when you go live ah well excellent I've got to admit I'm I I approach twitch like a 59 year old man and I have not learned I have not learned how to host someone else's stream I have not uh, learned things like twitch alerts I just have my own little bit of uh, struggle with the cameras and make sure it's running that's actually pretty good Trump I'm kind of pleased with him Collar needs to go around like that. I think I'm going to do a video sometime on just drawing ears. Cartoonists tend to be terrible about ears. Not quite sure why, because ears ears have their own uh, structure that you need to learn as an art student, but uh, not that complex a structure. Anyway, I'm still drawing the old hair. Okomi writes, why did you stop streaming from drawing to coloring? Oh, you're talking about yesterday's drawing of Abraham Lincoln. Actually, I should show you that one. Let's open that up because I did that yesterday, uh, day before yesterday. And um, I did just color it on my own and uh, not as part of the stream so my apologies for that but it was so simple that um, that I um, I didn't want to come on and do a stream for just a few minutes anyway here you go this is the Lincoln Pukes Party of Lincoln cartoon that I did in the last stream and I only did the black and white line art but I didn't do the color and you know the color here really isn't much color at all on the f actual five dollar bill they've got this kind of um, orange speckle stuff and yellow speckle stuff so I did that with my sponge texture and a little bit of that in his puke and basically the rest of it is a CMY with no K uh, gray um, so what I mean the whole thing took me uh, 
15 minutes so I didn't think that was uh, enough to do a stream come back on for 15 minutes so my apologies anyway here it is uh, color Lincoln now you seen it I'm back to Trump anyway so no policy about stopping showing the coloring I just uh, that was simple and I was rushed and I didn't want to spend half an hour setting up to stream for a 15 minute stream what I really need is a basement with uh, everything always always set up for the same lighting so I don't have to do a darn setup every time Comey writes, oh, I thought you decided to cut that part of the process out from your streams. Nah, Comey, it's just one cartoon. Only one cartoon. There's no policy. There's just... I mean, this one has no policy either. I started this one off by uh, having my sketch laid out before I got started. That's not a policy either. It was just a, a sketch that involved a lot of uh, print out the elephant and cut and paste. And I just did it while I was uh, doing my uh, setup for the stream. So. Uh, Nope, no policies here. Just, uh... Trump's looking a little bit squat. His legs are kind of higher than they should be, huh? Let's bring that down. Oh, I have every darn yellow pencil. I have an eraser here. Can with an eraser. So, legs need to go lower. Yeah, I notice these things after I draw them wrong. So that butt comes down there. This leg needs to be as low as possible. setup that I haven't done. Well, Cartoon Man, so nice that you look forward to my Twitch alerts. I appreciate the kind words. So I've got this little drawing table, but it kind of needs to be little to force me to keep uh, drawing in the image area that you're going to see on the screen here. So uh, I do not seek a larger drawing table. His hand needs to go lower too, doesn't it? The hand is just wrong. After getting his face pretty easily, I've been getting his uh, his body wrong.
here, Edwards. Nice to see you here. So do you guys watch Twitch all day long so you just happen to be around when a, an alert for me comes up? That's a lot of Twitch watching. Well, that hand looks kind of nice. Not quite the hand I expected that I was drawing because it's kind of noodly loose, but uh, what the hell. I usually do much more uh, angular, knuckly hands, but uh, that's kind of nice. I'll stick with it. Comey writes, I work on my home all day in front of the PC, so I'm kind of here a lot of the time. You gotta keep Twitch window open though to get their alert, huh? I want him to be a little bit stumpy funny and I think I'm getting that in in his truncated torso which is clearly more truncated than reality would bear So the big question you guys should be asking me is, Daryl, you know, editors really do not like cartoons about poop, yet here you're drawing another big poop cartoon. Do you not care about the marketplace in which you must sell your cartoons? Have you no thought of your... Uh, your clients who do not like these editorial choices you've made to depict poop on Donald Trump's head? And my answer to that is, uh, but I am a cartoonist and not an editor. And it is my duty as a cartoonist to draw the poop cartoons when the poop cartoons call upon me to draw them. So it's not like I have any choice. Oh, my hair is starting to sparkle. The daylight changes and my hair starts to sparkle. All right, got rid of the sparkling. He's not really getting pinstripes today. He's just getting crosshatch.
also, as I'm sure you know, with newspapers in trouble these days, lots of editorial cartoonists have been losing their staff jobs at newspapers. But, you know, like me, I also lost staff jobs at newspapers. They often like to continue in syndication, even without having a staff job. And I do that by having a syndicate. And lots of cartoonists, lots of cartoonists just love uh, doing uh, editorial cartoons, so they keep doing it just for the syndication. Anyway, um, what I've noticed is that when cartoonists get out from under the thumb of an editor, they're really eager to draw the cartoons that they were not allowed to draw while they were at the newspaper under the thumb of an editor. And, you know, what they seem to be most uh, troubled by not having been allowed to draw it are the dirty scatological things, the, the private parts and the poop and the pee. And as the syndicate boss here, wearing my other hat, you know, I, I like a good poop cartoon once in a while. But I see the performance of the poop cartoons is quite poor. And so when these cartoonists who yearn to roam free finally roam free and they're drawing they're drawing people having uh, inappropriate relationships and lots of private parts. And their cartoons don't get reprinted and get all we get letters from middle school teachers because editorial cartoons are part of state mandated testing in 8th and 11th grade in AP social studies. So we get lots of teachers teaching to the test and you get these uh, cartoons that are not middle school friendly and oh, the middle school teachers freak out. I assigned your website as homework and look at what greets me. So when I wear my other hat, my syndicate hat, I am not pleased with the other cartoonists drawing the scatological cartoons. They're in my hypocrisy. Hypocrisy of the marketplace. Hypocrisy of the, the naughty cartoonist who is motivated to do the things that are not saleable. I don't have a solution to this dichotomy. Bear Edwards asks, will there be waftaroons? You know, the only reason to do a waftaroon is if you're making a smell travel um, from one point to another. So, for example, you have a pie on a windowsill and the guy is standing there observing the pie, but you want to show that he's smelling it. You make the waftaroon come off the pie and go under his nose. Well, in this cartoon... The matter of smell, although I'm certain it would be apparent here. Uh, oh, thank you, Trevor FV. Thank you for following. Anyway, the matter of smell here is not integral to this gag. What this gag is about is um, the uh, disrespectful and assertive way in which this elephant under Ted Cruz's command is pooping upon the Donald's head. 
there actually is very little reference going on to smell. So, uh, no, no afternoons today. If I did, I'd have to make a waftaroon come off of this and go back under Donald's nose and then make him react to a bad smell. That's not quite the gag. But waftaroons, gotta love them. Comey writes, well, if I won ever wondered why college kids sound like little children, now I know. get me talking some more sometime about these uh, not quite appropriate cartoons and I'll tell you some more stories okay the reason I pasted this down I'm not going to uh, paste in the Republican logo and in case you forgot This is the Republican logo, and I flopped it because it has to read from left to right, and the gag is on the right. So um, I could drop that in as a graphic, and I think most cartoonists would do that. Um, but uh, I find that everything looks better if you uh, trace it and crosshatch it. At least it does for me. People like to see how my hand works. So I'm going to trace it and crosshatch the whole thing. Bear Edwards writes, so, okay, now I get it. It just gives me the chance to use the word wafteroons. <laughs> there are names for all these different comic devices. I, I don't remember them all. Wafteroons, speed lines, peels and squeans. All right, I think the Donald is going to need a bit of uh, post-it note. Otherwise, I'm going to keep um, running my hand through that dark. Not waffle runes, wafter runes. Bear Edwards spelled it correctly. That's because it wafts through the air. I don't really know what elephant poop looks like. I presume it's like horse poop, which would be a little rounder than what I'm doing. Note that this is not falling straight down because falling straight down is not quite as funny as having it come out into a line on top of his head. Poo should be funny. Waffle rune is kind of funny, though. Hokomi. But it is a misuse of the English language.
Comey writes, do you think Trump will end up running as an independent? Uh, no, I think he would lose as an independent. And I think he's aware of that. And I think he might end up suing the Republicans to do things like uh, get the Colorado delegates. He was... Uh, he was outsmarted uh, on by Ted Cruz. He is a litigious guy. This logo has an interesting little curve between the bits. Oh, link on language of comic strips. That's kind of nice. Let's take a look at that. Thanks, Bear Edwards. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, Mort Walker is a big proponent of uh, lexicon of Comicana. Yep, 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 yep. Wafta Rom. Boy, I thought it was O O M. It's Wafta Rom. I don't know. Who's to say that Mord is right? Indotherm. I use that one. Laps, beams, neoflect. No, I don't ever use those. Squeens and peels I use. Yeah. Lucaflect. The. Window reflection. I call those uh, window reflections. Yep, yep. All good. Thanks, Bear Edwards. Those are all good Mort words, although I, I don't use all of that Comicana. I, ha I have a selective vocabulary. Wafter Rom, not Wafter Rune. Here I am correcting your spelling. Oops, I drew on top of the star. So again, the way I prepped this was I uh, printed out the elephant logo and flopped it in Photoshop, and then I uh, printed it as big as it would go on a piece of 8.5 by 11. And then I drew these two little guys freehand and uh, taped them on the elephant in the right spots, which is notably much easier than trying to have to draw them in the right spots on the elephant in the first place. It is not unusual for me to sketch some things on little bits and then tape them into position. Flint water. So you get a sense that uh, you know people like to see that a hand drew everything, and um, in at least in my cartoons they do. And so uh, I think if I had just pasted in the logo as a graphic which comes in high resolution on Wikipedia, so it was easy to, easier to do. I wouldn't have to do all this drawing. 
but the cartoon would be weaker because there's a joy in seeing something rendered, even if it's just a black area that you're sketching out. Bear Edwards sounds to me like a Wall Street firm. So, also, in case you're wondering what I do is I sharpen all my pencils before I start. Here's my pencil cup. And I just reach over here and get new pencils each time. My tech guy... Theo, who makes all things work, gave me a tongue lashing and said, he said, uh, you should never sharpen your pencils while you're streaming. It's noisy. It annoys everybody. It's nothing to watch. Sharpen all your pencils in advance before you start streaming. And I said, yes, Theo, yes, Theo, I will sharpen my pencil. And I have been. Too rusty for you. Hello, too rusty for you. Thank you for the kind words. Have you followed me? I need the follows. you too rusty for you that's very nice I appreciate the follow I'm also told that I should make my own follow icon and not use that tired old zombie but I kind of like the zombie I like the zombie shows on TV. I'm a Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead fan. Oh, that's a nice little zombie. So thank you again, Rusty. I appreciate that. Anyway, all this scritchy scratchy that I'm doing here in the elephant will give uh, much more life to this cartoon than if I had uh, dropped in um, dropped in the logo. And I find that uh, something that beginning cartoonists do a lot. They rely on computer graphics like dropping in logos like that when they should rely more on their own hand because it's everybody does the darn computer graphics there's nothing special about it but it's your hand that's special when you're a cartoonist and it's what people want to see and they put it on a page in the paper or on a website surrounded by all kinds of graphics that are not drawn by the hand the whole point of running a cartoon is to have the difference from all the the other muck that surrounds it. So, too rusty for you writes, how long does it usually take you to make a drawing? Well, this is a question that is easily answered by going to DarylKagel.com and you can look at the all the other uh, streams I did saved on YouTube and nicely available with the the cartoons and some comments on my personal site. But uh, depending on the cartoon, 
um, I would say between two and eight hours usually around six hours this one I've been working on for about an hour this is an easy one and the last one with uh, Abraham Lincoln five dollar bill that was a pretty easy one too so unusually uh, unusually quick ones this one's pretty quick it's still gonna end up taking me three or four hours once I put in all the color and stuff Good. What I'm going to need to do when I color this, if I'm going to drop all of this to blue and all of this to red on the elephant, is come in around his edges and keep the black lines manually, which will take a few minutes. Okomi writes, how long did the clown media take? Well, actually that one didn't take too long either because I started off with uh, uh, another media cartoon that was basically those guys. So I just uh, turned my, my standard media group into the cl clouds, uh, clowns. So that went pretty fast. Anyway. Go take a look. You can look at how uh, how long the YouTube video is. In general, if there's a crowd scene, cartoon ends up taking a good deal longer, as you might imagine. I hate doing crowd scenes. Art directors love crowd scenes. When I was doing advertising illustration back in the day, most of the jobs I got were crowd scenes. So the poor editors are going to be torn with this one because they're really going to want cartoons about um, crews outmaneuvering Trump on the delegates, and they're really not going to want to print a poop cartoon. I think one thing that helps this as a poop cartoon is the fact that the elephant is not real realistic. If it was a uh, very realistic portrayal of the elephant pooping it would be disturbing to the editors. Okay, so he is holding the reins here. This will go down like good enough. 
enough. Cartoon Man writes, I had to step away, but what is the yellow post-it for? <laughs> well, Donald's suit is very dark, and I don't want to run my hand through the thick graphite. Oh, I still have to draw his butt, don't I? Star was hard to see through those, through the layer of uh, trace and vellum. Bruce's face makes you uncomfortable. It is kind of an uncomfortable face, isn't it? He's got a kind of a smarmy look. He has such a great nose, though. His wife, Heidi, has an interesting nose as well. is an uncomfortable one. Everyone is talking about the Donald, but Cruz is doing a good job of stealing all these delegates, and uh, he's worse than Trump. Wolf Bronski, I don't think I've ever seen you here before. Nice to see you, sir. What brings you to us today? A 
Comey writes, he looks like he's wearing a human meat suit. You think Cruz looks like that in reality or the way that I've drawn him? Meat suit like on uh, Supernatural. Or like um, Lady Gaga. Well, Bronski, you want to know who you should vote for? <laughs> well, I hate to tell you, but I'm voting for Bernie. I need to bring up uh, bring up uh, Cruz on my monitor here. Okay, so in case you're uh, wondering, this is what I'm looking at on the other screen. It is uh, Cruz. Oh, the light's changing and I need to fix my uh, gizmo again. Sorry. Yeah, that's a little better. So, Cruz. You notice that on Trump, you get uh, cartoon category up here in the right. It's something I've never seen in the um, in the uh, anybody else. Only only Trump, which is kind of crazy. Oh, Comey writes you. You saw Men in Black one. There was a bug alien wearing a human suit. That's where I think what you what I think when seen Ted act human. <laughs> I do remember that. Let's come back over here. So, Cruz. Cruz should have cartoons as well. They do a lousy job picking the cartoons on Google. Their algorithm sucks. They get them from nonsense blogs and from for s all the noise that they make with their uh, canonical home rules on Google. To see the the crappy places that end up on Google Images is terrible. Alright. <laughs> well, Fronsky says, do you think Hillary will win New York? Yeah, I do. Okomi writes, See that smile on Cruz's face? That's a smile that says, Day 899, they will think I'm human. Okomi writes, Good call. <laughs> no, there won't be any 899. Cru if Cruz wins, he's got a preface for the, the apocalypse. The world's not going to last that long. His, his eyes are funny. His eyes are just as funny as his nose.
Comey writes, I thought the prostitute scandal was going to do him in, but no. You mean that National Enquirer article? I don't recall that being about prostitutes, but okay. Well, Ronsky writes, his real name is Raphael. Draw him as a ninja turtle. I'm so friggin' old, so old for Twitch, that when I hear the names of the turtles, I think of artists rather than turtles. Okay. Ear. Not much of interest going on with that ear. Just there because it looks wrong if there's no ear. That's not a bad cruise. He looks to me like he kind of wears mascara. You notice that? So I like to darken up his um, his lashes. guy liner <laughs> so wolf bronski i need for you to um to follow me i'm hurting for follows all right i need to cross hatch the cruise suit course when I do a general crosshatch like this they are not in the direction of the pinstripes oh cartoon man likes how I draw poop <laughs> the secret to drawing poop like the secret to drawing everything else is remember your light source
cartoon man thought I was going to say I should use a number two pencil to draw poop. That is kind of funny. Okay, now I need a couple more post-it notes with all the black that a uh, heavy pencil on here. This is uh, extra dirty. So although I use a hard pencil, um, still it's a pencil. You gotta treat it like a pencil. Oh, I need to look back at the elephant to see just how they do his feet. Oh, his feet are not very interesting, are they? So Cartoon Man's looking forward to the Republican convention. I've heard from a number of my cartoonist friends that are going to go to the convention and uh, I'm sure it will be quite a scene but uh, I think I can watch it better on TV. If I was at the convention I'd be sitting up in the rafters with the uh, press that they don't want to mix with anybody. I'd be watching it on TV on my iPad probably. And I wouldn't be invited to any parties. I'd be sitting by myself in the rafters, talking to the other cartoonists. And the cartoonists at these things always end up drawing funny pictures of those, uh, those colorful convention delegates. So I have never gone to one of the national conventions, even though they are not terribly hard to get into for an editorial cartoonist. And I think I just draw better cartoons sitting here at home. Yeah, I agree with you guys. It looks to me like Paul Ryan is uh, positioning for himself. 
and not very subtly. gets to be the, the reluctant presidential candidate, which I suppose has some appeal to some people. Well, ah, when everything gets too thick and full of graphite, you gotta pull out the bond paper. Cross-hatching will look better than if I put in the graphic. It trust me, it will look better. So my cartoonist friends around the world who uh, all of them think Donald Trump is just a monster and that's simply I think because they haven't spent any time learning about Ted Cruz. And Donald Trump fits their preconceived notions of the rich, greedy American. So it, people love it when characters meet their uh, preconceived notions. I think the international cartoons about uh, the election have been nothing but uh, preconceived prejudices about America translated onto Trump and along with the uh, Nazi and Ku Klux Klan references. So, of course, they are all going crazy about uh, the Panama Papers and the bombings in Brussels. And you know, I have not drawn a single cartoon about the Panama Papers or the bombings in, Russell, in Brussels. I'm getting these... Uh, solicitations. So uh, Daryl, we're doing a an exhibition on offshore accounts. Panama Papers. We're doing a, a special memorial cartoon exhibition for Brussels. Send us your cartoons. I haven't done a thing. I've been drawing Donald Trump. And doing business stuff. And I don't have a good idea for a, a Panama Papers cartoon. I was thinking that I might draw a piggy bank and the oligarchs are dropping money into the slot on the giant pig's back and the pig is pooping like this elephant on top of the world. And you know what? <laughs> this is a terrible cartoon. It's the best idea I had. Might be funny. It's got poop in it. Okomi writes, the media lies about everything. If they believe it well, not too much you can do about it. <laughs> hey. I'm the media. Fascinating too how the international cartoonists uh, and the conservatives here think that that uh, liberal cartoonists like me get their talking points from the Democrats. Nobody has ever sent me talking points. I don't hear from anybody. 
only time I ever hear from politicians is if they want me to give them a free cartoon to hang on their wall. I don't even know that they'll hang it on their wall. They just want a free cartoon. Bastards. Cheap, slimy bastards. No free cartoons for you, cheap, slimy bastards. So I get these letters from conservatives about how I'm following the democratic talking points. How I'm a, I'm a slave to the liberal media machine. I sit here at home and I don't hear from anybody. Media conspiracy does a lousy job of keeping me in the loop. Yeah, I usually don't draw things with these big black areas of pencil. So uh, you guys have not seen me uh, cover things up like this. I suppose I can take these off now. I'm not drawing anything more up there. Oof. Give this a little thicker line. This is actually a pro-Trump cartoon. He's complaining now about uh, about um, process being unfair and Cruz uh, cheating him with the Republican establishment. And this is a cartoon that depicts that. So in that respect, I think it's a pro-cartoon for Trump, even though. Uh, even though he's the one with poop on his head. Poop on the head does not a negative Trump cartoon make. When I finish this, I'm going to have to break off and uh, color it later since I have a dinner date. So my apologies for that. There's really not going to be very much involved in coloring this because these two areas are, uh, as you can see here, big broad blue and big broad red. Cartoon Man writes, does the DNC use the donkey logo officially? The GOP embraced the elephant icon, but I'm not sure if the Democrats did the same with the donkey. They have a D in a circle lately. Well, I thought they had embraced the donkey. We can, uh, we can answer that quickly. Democratic Party logo images. Oh, I see that D in a circle. Hadn't really uh, thought much about that before. Yeah, you think of the this elephant loco as being ubiquitous, but uh, I kind of remember this one. Mm. 
No, they don't have a good donkey logo, do they? I don't think they should choose to do something like this where they're matching the GOP logo. Yeah, they're hurting for donkey logo. I hadn't thought about that. It's rare that I think this is the first time I've ever drawn the um, the GOP logo. I draw lots of donkeys and elephants, but I have never drawn the logo before. Thomas Nast originated the the donkey and the elephant. Yes, Bear Edwards. Although he certainly didn't do those logos. He also did the modern Santa Claus. And uh, like modern day cartoonists, he got fired and uh, Ended up, uh, what did he move to the Virgin Islands or something? I forget. I need to Wikipedia Thomas Nast. He ended up kind of embittered, I think. Lost his job and embittered. wonder why the GOP stars are upside down. Do stars really have a up? Does one point have to be uh, absolutely up for that to be... Uh, that's not upside down either. That's just a, a 30 degree twist. Okay. I think this is done. I did about 15 minutes of work on it before I started, and I've been doing this for an hour and a half, so looks like an hour and 45 minutes before into this before I start with the color. I think it's uh, it's looking right. There's the cartoon for you. All right, here it is. It's all done. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to color it online, but I, maybe I will, because the coloring's not going to take very long for this one. Um, but uh, hey, now, does he need a little bit of belly hanging through here? Is the next question. So I look at him, and it looks like he is getting shorted for a little bit of body mass. That helps him a little bit. He's still a little bit uh, oddly uh, truncated there, as is Trump. Trump's a little bit oddly truncated here as well. Uh, oh well. Hey, thank you guys for joining me. Um, that will be uh, it for today. You'll see this uh, cartoon appearing online soon, or else you might see me pop in and uh, and color it for for half an hour. 
maybe tomorrow morning. Depends on, depends on what I do. Don't know. Anyway, hey, thank you all for joining me. And uh, hey, if anyone hasn't um, hasn't followed who's here among you folks silently lurking, I would really appreciate the follows. And uh, join me next time. And I will uh, see you guys later. Hey, how is it that I... Uh, well, I will see you guys later. And... Uh, Later.